All right, guys, it's uh, August 2018, end of August. Um, there's my Sea Pearl 21 Trimoran. It's the older version with the, uh, the wing decks, the fiberglass wing decks, bit heavier than the, the lighter Sport, but much bigger cockpit. And, uh, and I like it better. It also keeps a lot of spray and a lot of crap off the boat. And uh, it's a little bit heavier, but uh, the boats perform well. So, uh, and I've never sailed a sport, so I don't know if the uh, additional few hundred pounds is a real hinder. So, anyway, and then this is my Windrider 17. Uh, the great thing, I've had three of these over, I don't know, more than a decade. And uh, I always come back to them. They're lovely boats. They're quick to set up. They haul ass. Uh, they're plastic, uh, so they take a beating. And this one was in really, really good condition. I just, uh, last month, I drove on out to Maryland, uh, picked it up, and then dropped on down to the Outer Banks, North Carolina, around Hatteras in that area, and uh, went sailing. And I uh, had a great time. Boat performed well. Um, I was with a buddy of mine who, who's a great sailor and has his own wind rider. And, uh, and we had a great time. And then I came back and uh, lo and behold, a boat that I had been looking at and wanting for seven years, eight years now, just came on the market. And so I am going to do a quick scramble and um, uh, sell everything I have. Not everything I have, but uh, boat-wise, I've wanted this boat. It's a Draskum Drifter, and uh, the good thing about it, and these boats are very seaworthy too, and they will take a beating. But the Draskum, for a 21-foot boat, will cross oceans. It's the uh, smaller bilge-keeled one. They don't come up in America very often. Um, you can find them used on the market over in England, but then of course you have to sail them across the pond. Uh, to get them back home and then still have to deal with the trailer thing and uh, anyway this one's come up I know the boat I know the owner and uh, so I am going to uh, do a uh, hard push anyway so the 17 is probably going to be the first to go quick rundown on it it's got brand new submersible LED lights uh, that I put on for the trip also two brand new uh, tires and rims I mean we're talking brand new and uh, also the hubs the hubs the wheel bearings everything is brand new and during the trip I collapsed the original tongue jack and so as you can see it's got a brand new uh, 1500 pound um, tongue jack on it with dual wheels um, all the electricals brand new. The trailer is a long trailer and it's a wind rider trailer. It's custom designed, custom made for the wind riders. And um, so, anyway, the trailer is friggin' brand new. There's no real rust. Some, you know, the bolts are showing rust, the U bolts and the square bolts and stuff like that. But uh, nothing's even close to being in bad shape. And the trailer's got all it's galvanized on it. It's still in really good shape. The boat's in excellent shape. It's been probably covered. The tramps are great. The sails are new and crispy. And I am going to give this boat away just because I need to hustle up the money. And uh, if I have to, I'm going to sell the Sea Pearl 21 too, which has got all kinds of stuff. It's got the Camp Cruiser Dodger on it. Uh, it's got a rear aft bimini. The sails are nice. It's got two sets of sails, I think. And uh, uh, trailer's in good shape. Tag, titled, insured, you know, the whole spiel. Also, um, okay, so the, the caveat on the Wind Rider is I bought it and it will come with a bill of sale for both the boat and a bill of sale for both the trailer uh, with the VIN numbers. So, uh, uh, that's the only caveat on this puppy. Anyway, um, okay, and I've got a 21-foot dove key. And this puppy, I'm, uh, man, I'll never get my money out of her, but uh, I've done a lot of modifications over the years. And it's the only monohull I've ever truly loved. It's a lovely boat. It's a Sharpie, uh, bulgur design. Um, this guy is a... Uh, Jim Brown design, which is cool because I cruised a 37-foot Sea Runner 
uh, trimaran back in the 80s and early 90s through Baja, Mexico, and uh, I am a big fan of Jim Brown. So, uh, um, and then this guy I think is a remake of a God, an early Hershoff or something like that. And then they they did the monohull thing with it, and then they modified it into a trimaran. I think this boat's early 80s. Um, it's a good boat. It really is a good boat, and there's pretty good following for it, and it sails really well. And uh, the dub key will sail in about four inches of water. I think this puppy, you can get her up into nine inches. They're both leeboard Sharpies. And maybe, what is it, 18 for the wind, wind rider. So two multi-hulls, a monohull, and I got miscellaneous sailing kayaks and other crap like this. But this is what I want. I need to get rid of just because I've got a narrow window for the, uh, uh, the Drascom and I'm going to go for it. So anyway, this stuff is up for sale. The Wind Rider, I'm going to give away. This guy, I'm not going to give away. But uh, if I get rid of the Wind Rider, I could probably make the dress come happen. So anyway, it's going for cheap and it's going to go for quick. So on that note, we're clear.